Hello and welcome everybody to another edition of Wednesday Night Fights Online Edition, episode 41. Coming to you live, of course, as always, with some good ass BB tag action on deck for you all tonight on the PC platform for this week. Looking forward to all of the wonderful matches we have in store for tonight. But of course, before we get into all of that, there are some introductions that need to be made. First up is yours truly, T.O. Bracket Runner host and co commentator for tonight's BB tag bracket, and with me on the Mike is, again, someone we've had time and time again here for WNFBB Tag. Always a pleasure to have him on the mic and grace us with his voice and analysis for Sword Kirby, a.k.a. Podge. How are you doing tonight, my friend? I am doing fantastic. Going to be player two on this commentary duo today, and it's been a hot minute. Uh, see Otaku happened last month, and, you know, all of the... All the action that popped up there, I just, I just, you know, step away for a bit. But I'm back here tonight, ready to watch and commentate some good old BB tag. Uh, it's looking to be uh, a fiery, fiery set of matches we got today. Sparks flying. I'm super excited to be here and check out all the good action. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, well, we don't have fire in store currently. There is an ice character that we see uh, slotted in for one of our players. But of course, you know. That is, that is to say, I haven't yet announced who it is going to be up first on stream. But yeah, it's going to be first up Bumba Chunga versus uh, No Lab Mayo. So going to be uh, somebody I haven't seen necessarily into the brackets that much, but always, always good to see him. Always wonderful to see uh, Mayo enter these uh, few and far between, as well, but, you know, gracing us with his presence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, dude. It's it's always great seeing, uh, you know, players come in who haven't maybe played a while. Um, you get a, uh, you know, fresh perspective. They bring in a lot of um, unique teams a lot of times. And, you know, you haven't played them in a while. Their gameplay might catch you off guard. And, you know, BB Tag is a game of chaos, of excitement. And uh, whenever there's a uh, new combination of characters on the screen, um, it will be an exciting bout indeed. Couldn't have said it better myself. And uh, yeah, I think with all that being said, I think we're uh, good to go, good to start. And uh, we'll let the players know that uh, they are, you know, able, able to get things going. Let's see. Yeah, exciting to see things rolling. Every time I come back and commentate, Bum Bum Chung pulls out something um, new with the Labyrinth Gin. They've been on this grind for, for quite a bit. And, you know, they're always um, improving. I'm looking forward to see what's happened last month. Uh, check out the new Labyrinth Gin tech, as always. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Mayo coming in with the Tank Merkava. Interesting colors as well. Interesting team, interesting colors all around. So going to be wild to see how they put this to work. You know, already, uh, Labyrinth getting the work, eating all five Merkava Fireballs on the 6P. But that doesn't matter. Tank, uh, doesn't matter how unstable your combos are. He's a big boy. Seems just gonna work out. Yeah, like and just... Working out. Yeah, just a little bit too early on the DP to kind of, like, call out the projectile assist. So, got punished for that. Great air-to-air -air by Bamba Chunga. Able to avoid eating all that Red Axe damage. You got one more chance? I think that chance is gonna be over. Once again, I think, yeah, a little bit too early with the DPs. I think they're thinking that it travels faster than it does, but yeah, you gotta remember, it's got a slow startup. Yeah, Gen 6P, that big old Lego brick, uh, hurts to step on, uh, slow as heck, and definitely eats up that screen real estate. Uh, Merkava also eating up a lot of screen real estate, dragging Gen 2 corner, gets the hard knockdown. Ooh. Ooh, gets the anti air, but bursts in, unfortunately, just gets hit not too long afterwards. Excellent space. Yeah, Labyrinth Guard Point working out for once. Uh, Merkava a little bit slow on that slide, a little bit slow on that super. Not going to pick up Labyrinth. Uh, uh, the long noodly arms, unfortunately, extending the hurt box just enough to get hit by that 4P. And uh, not looking Ooh. good for Mayo. Yeah, Mayo um, still holding that residence. Definitely wants to try to get at least one character down before getting put into that. Yep. So Use it defensively there. Just playing neutral. He's, he's hitting so many 5As for the Lord. And kills Alf Jin without any spending any meter. Even stings out. Oh no! Gets the air to air. Should be enough. Yep. Oh, really, making that, really making me sweat with that extended combo on Labyrinth. But working out, uh, Waluigi t or Mayo, uh, making the great comeback uh, down two characters to one. I think it definitely helped that it was. 
Well, it was both it was both a help and a hindrance because they weren't really using their assist that much uh, in the beginning. Like we saw, of course, the Merkava assist coming in, hitting the Labras. But after that, they didn't call them much, so they didn't have too much opportunity to get like happy birthday. So that helped a lot like with you know having them come in basically full health but at the same time they didn't have much resonance to work with in terms of levels so it was it was a bit 50 50 there yeah and you know this tank is looking uh 50 50 into the corner gonna have to eat something up here oh yeah using the delayed ice brick to get the throw red axe is cooking red axe is going to be going away good burst by mayo unfortunately momochanga Starting, starting to the corner of the end. Right, definitely looking better for Bumba okay. Chunga. And yeah, He's going so to... Oh, the absolutely. Oh, okay. First, thankfully, letting uh, Tank not have to keep that. No play, Goki. Oh, yes. no. Air laser, unfortunately, getting called out. And if this... No, no okay. Just not quite enough. Oh my god, the Street Fighter. Get hit in the air, tech out. And just beats up Tank on the way down. Mama Jugga taking that game. And a very quick response on that second game from Bumba, tying it up 1 1. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Bumba seems to be very a lot more comfortable playing into Tank. Um, got caught off, off guard with Merkava's a little bit of a, you know, sneaky backdashes and his. Uh, 5A, so think much less mobile, uh, definitely a more committal with their options. It's a little bit easier for this team to do. Just like that, we're going to be put back into this situation again. I can't escape. The, we've been seeing the Jin projectile is just really putting in some work against this tank. Uh, and it's like either been a little bit early DP callouts or it's just been continuing the pressure for Bumba and it's just, yeah, working out so well. Bumba? Oh my god. Almost. Almost. Wouldn't that would have been point. really sick if Bumba was able to get it, but called out the dive, killing off the Merkava early once again, and solo Blitz tank not looking too good on health against two characters that are practically full. Yeah. Oh, it steals the corner. Going to be able to pick up. Just kill? Just kill? Please? Oh, crossbreed, that works. And yeah, uh, tank out there. So normally, I think there is a there's a point where you might think that, you know, Jin does the top two, your turn's over, you can maybe push block, punish with laser and something like that. But definitely with the, you know, just having that assist available makes it a lot harder for tank to kind of punish you for, you know, extending your offense. Um, there was one interaction where he tried to armor through the Gen 6 key, but mm -hmm. um, I think somehow Labrys hit him a little bit later um, than the armor was still active. I don't think the armor was active through while the fire was out, so that just was an unfortunate set of circumstances. But we're moving on to Mika. Uh, I approve. I approve. Yeah, I think a character that's a lot easier to deal with uh, some of the assists, but it's not going to matter. Good pickup off the 6 key. Uh, using multi hits, and yeah, now you're able to kind of tech forward without worried about eating that 6p. Oh, but you still gotta play the rest of the game. Ooh, unfortunate. Yeah, I wasn't able to tech the throw there. And going to be, yeah, suffering some damage. Not quite too much, but Labras is getting into that Red Axe territory now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got probated. Oh. He's not dead, though. We can't have the phone steal. He did run up super. He did a lot of damage. It's only two characters who do phone steals, and unfortunately, okay. we don't see those characters. Unlucky. You're right. So, you know, it wasn't a phone steal. We'll call that a drive by. Uh, Labyrinth <laughs> working, doing her best and running over Merkava. Down to just solo Mika. Uh, this Mika. Mm, okay. Ooh. Getting somewhere? Ooh, getting okay. somewhere? Unfortunately, yeah. Blue beat combo, so it wasn't entirely true, but. I mean, still got a small happy birthday. I mean, you got, I was going to say, you got to use your resonance at some point, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely was hoping to at least get rid of one character. But, you know, level one, you're not going to have the meter. Uh, you know, maybe this is fine. If you're going to be able to get a super on Jin, get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, do the EX extension. Get a little bit of That's more good damage. because this, this super does scale with height. So the higher Ooh. you are, the more damage it does. That's so cool. Yo, come oh. here, pop it again. No! no! Didn't believe in it! Thought that would kill, but unfortunately, yeah, it just oh no, hate to see it. Could have been a one v one situation for 
Mayo, but I mean, looking pretty good right now. Yeah, down the solo Labrys. Labrys got to block this, okay? Able to jump out. And oh. Kind of clutching it out, wow. Unfortunate for Mayo. Was doing really well with the solo Mika comeback, but yeah, the air buttons from Labrys able to stuff out whatever option they had in the air. And Bumba Chunga going to be taking that set 3-1. Yeah, good stuff from both players. Um, definitely, I think, next time, uh, if you guys face off in bracket again, Mayo, pull out that Mika. Uh, she's definitely having a lot easier time kind of taking the offensive. Uh, Tank had to sit back a bit, and uh, with Mika, I saw a lot of very good, you know, air to airs into start doing stuff. But we'll see you in the rest of the bracket, hopefully, um, as we move on to our next match, I think. Indeed, indeed. It will be Cam versus Burnt Bread. All right, Cam, I think, you know, always a exciting player to watch. A very, um, how do I say? You got to always has a new setup, always something devastating with that Yumi Sess shell. Um, and definitely looking forward to seeing what kind, of, what kind of new stuff they got. I'm always labbing that team and finding a lot of setups that goes beyond, um, yeah, I'm just hit you with the big buttons, the uh, big damage buttons until you die. Uh, does, does a lot of unique things with those two characters, I think. Yeah, and Cam definitely does have, I mean, has been playing this team as long as I've known him. And just, yeah, the setups they're able to do, the setups and like the situations they're able to put you in are very, very frightening. You got to find your way out of it or die, as you said. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like, I uh, wonder how... Burnt Bread is going to be able to either keep that from happening or if they are, if their defense is enough to prevent something uh, if they are put in that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to swing on our players. Cam pop in here. Waiting for Burnt Bread to come out of that toaster. Hopefully not too overcooked. I mean, it, it, it's burnt already. It's in the name, so I'm guess, pretty well, sure that means... Okay, you, you got this, you got this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, he set the toaster setting on five, he just takes a little bit longer to cook, you know? That's all we're waiting for. Yeah, you know, just gotta, you know, just just, just scrape it off. Just scrape off the burnt part. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That means the rest of the bread underneath is cooked perfectly. Yeah, Burnt Bread uh, typically plays the namesake uh, character of Igus. Uh, can't entirely remember what they play with her. Uh, it, it deviates a couple times, but I do think I remember. I remember a Yumi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. E thirty. Okay. Yeah. Well, Yumi, so. the universal glue. If you need a partner that does a lot of things well. Um, I guess I'm sure appreciates uh, her varied assist set um, and things like, you know, ice resands into the Orgia mix, always powerful as well. Absolutely. And that, and, you know, the unscaled bullets a lot of the time really does add to the damage potential for this team. So got to be very careful if you're put in a situation by them as well. Both these teams from, from these players are very much able to delete characters. It's just... It's certain. I, I don't know. I don't know which one has an easier time of doing that. <laughs> it's well, hard to say. Play, you got to play the neutral a bit. Uh, I guess is neutral. You know, a very. Both these. I, I wouldn't say both of these. Uh, both of those teams have like neutral that is, um. Hard to get around, like obstacle, obstacle, obstacle coursey. But they both have, um, very good movement options to kind of get to spots where they want to be. So you could kind of think of it kind of like a like a dog fight, right? You got two planes. Trying to get to the right spots um, and deal optimal damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you say you, we talked about I guess Burn Flare putting out an interesting team. I'm seeing in the lobby, and I, I think yeah, we I'm... walked into it. We got the return of a Wednesday Night Fight Classic, is what I'm seeing out here. Uh, New Wolfstein?
I haven't seen this team since Iron God. Yeah, Iron I'm God very surprised here. here. Yeah, ever since uh, Wallstein got the changes to his 5P and 6P, uh, this team, and also just changes the meta in general, have made this team uh, less effective as it might be. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We've got lots of new footage, lots of Wallstein footage out there between Serene and Elon. Uh, surely, new things are cooking up. And already making great use of that new 5P, deleting the Yumi projectiles and getting the turn started. Who's the problem? All right, gets clipped with the low, but once again, yeah, the situation, the setup that we saw right there with the orb cross up, and even though that wasn't a lot of damage, that's still got to keep that in mind now. Oh, Ooh. but this is gonna be enough damage. You've got four bars cooking in the back, and that new, uh, you know, you're only taking 5k now. That 5k is going to turn into a hot uh, eight at the end of this. Enough to be a dead new. Yeah, definitely has to spend the extra me meter to kill, but I mean, definitely worth it if you're killing off the characters, so. 9.7k. So oh, oh, no, he. Cam uses all of the moves that Yumi players just say, Yumi and test players say are bad, the fast fall and the dash cancel, and just makes them look so good. Mm. No, 100%. That's Gary. definitely refine this. Ooh, good Ooh, jump so over. Smart. Oh my god. Okay. Not gonna get all of the restands, but that doesn't matter. Keep it simple, keep it clean. And Cam with a pretty somewhat convincing game one there. It seemed like uh, Burnt Bread was able to get a little bit of their footing in the beginning, but uh, you know, like I said, once Cam got their game plan going, especially, especially like really once they got them to block, <laughs> it seemed yeah, like that was the issue. Uh, that's a story with new right once new has new 13 is a great character but once she's blocking and you know you're not um playing a character who's acceptable to getting push block by bead uh things are just really difficult um in general i think um burnt bread got push block out of the lobby some into somewhere else uh what happened <laughs> uh it seems like they're going to turn the improvement mod on I see. But yeah, Burnt Bread um, was doing a great job, I think, at the beginning. One, I think, like five to six neutral interactions, but unfortunately wasn't able to capitalize on that. Turn into, um, you know, real cash out. And then uh, Cam got their good sequences, built all that meter, um, and off that DP finish, it was, it was curtains. Mm hmm. 100%. Yeah, it's just. Cam's really good about optimizing the damage, especially off of like a DP punish. It's just like, if if that happens, if you see a DP blocked, you might as well just say, well, my character's dead. <laughs> yeah, and also off of uh, Cess orbs, there was a lot of situations where I was like, oh, that orb hit um, in like a very strange spot that, you know, you as a defender might be like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, it catches you off guard, but Cam's never, never caught off guard, always ready to burn off those. Mm -hmm. um, and that new 13 just paid the price, chewed up immediately. But, you know, we, we talked about that really getting to the next match. Uh, Burnt Get Bread, um, you know, improved the settings of the game, improved his gameplay, improved himself. And we're going to bring that improvement back into game two. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Back All right, and yeah, starts off, ooh, with the anti-air, good call from Burnt Bread there. Going to be getting, mm, not quite a full combo on the Yumi. All right, going to be tapping into new. Still has partner and assist available, so going to be able to uh, punish in case he does get bursted. But we're gonna get some Oki. News, uh, new is gonna be on a sliver. Yes. Oh my God. Ooh. Not able to get. Could have been really though. big. A happy birthday. Could have prevented that uh, burst from happening if they were able to get that on both. But still, Yumi not doing too good on the side of Cam. But that anti air five A. <laughs> Cam, uh, Cam has a picture, it's, uh, you know, you've got, uh, there's that meme where it's just like human resources and the other is, oh, oh darling, uh, that's Yumi 5A and Seth 5A. Both six mm -hmm. frames, but Yumi moves a little bit farther, has a little bit more range, but both very abusable and mashable on defense. Absolutely. But yeah, it looks like Burnt Bread definitely has a lot more control of how things are going in this match compared to last time. I say that, it's and, okay. And then... 
Yeah, yeah, but doing a great job avoiding Sash, yeah, makes him miss on the, I guess, thrust ten. Ooh, Ooh gets Yumi! I go to get a kill. Uh, I mean, I has cross combo gauge available, so I think if they're willing to spend the meter, that should be enough. Yeah. yeah. It is enhanced version, so yeah. Yeah, she's good. She's good. All right, wow, Burnbread commanding that neutral super well. Going to be down to solo Sass, but everyone knows Resonance Sense. Uh, always right, always threatening. Mm. And once again, the anti air 5A coming to play for camp. Good stagger. And is going to get a hit on Wall Sign for that. Oh, got a threaten some more. Excuse me? Where'd he go? Holy shit. Ooh, okay. well. Seems like Wall didn't care where he went. Got him with the claws off that 2B. And with, yeah, Rampage time in effect. Yeah, this should be enough. Well, you're going to drop the no! combo, unfortunately. New 5P just a little bit short. And now you're going to be playing Sess into New 13. Both resident, both have residents on deck. But New's got it over to deal with in the back. Ooh. The DP. Oh, and now this is, this is where the suffering begins. I've seen this situation time and time again. Time and time again. We hit our positive, guys. Oh, good push block out. Oh, that was a really good dive. I don't know if that was intended, but that definitely helped to avoid the option that Burnt Bread had in the air. Oh, just barely get out of the DP range. Yo, Cam, optimizations? He's so good. That's insane. Spending the meter on the EX orbs to keep her locked in place and do enough damage to kill. As always, Cam's got Cam's got a cooking. Uh, that was a, a brand new recipe. Get, got my start. Got my five stars of approval. Um, yeah, meter dumping with Sass, a character that you know is not really known for that. I managed to secure that kill, pulling victory uh, from the jaws of defeat there, uh, and going up 2-0. Well. So unfortunate though for Burnt Bread because they definitely had that game locked in. It's just, yeah, the big drop there on that last combo with Waldstein just really changed everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So hopefully, you know, they're able to. I was going to say, hopefully, yeah, they're able to, like, really, you know, not let that affect them too much and be able to get things a little bit more cleaned up in terms of combo structure if they have the chance. <laughs> Taking a hot AK for that unfortunate frame trap. What's going to be able to survive the 20k health coming through? But uh, one more situation uh, again. And looking not great. Oh no, late air dash. Good burst. Ooh, barely misses with the assist. Almost got punished for that too, but I don't know if you want to keep calling in the wall sign. <laughs> Three risky DPs all coming in clutch. Not going to be able to CC in yep. time to protect Wald. Yumi uh, Fireball um, got like a persistent property. Doesn't really clash for loose hits and uh, blows right through that. Absolutely dead. Doesn't even need to spend. Oh, well, it probably should have, quite honestly. <laughs> yeah, trading favors right there. Unfortunately, uh, Sword is not uh, going to be safe enough to get out of that situation and burnt bread. Uh, losing that round, going to be uh, losing the set as well. Unfortunate. And yeah, that's just, I, as I said it, and as it was happening, it's just like, I don't know if you want to keep on calling Waldstein in those situations because he had no health to work with. And that super's really good about calling that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. It does a under 5k actually, um, where 5k is already considered pretty low, but you know, it's a tool she has and a tool you have to respect um, and not able to CC in time, losing that wall sign, getting down to solo new and you know, it was just kind of really hard to come back from that in general, especially against the shell, which is able to always put a uh, threatening option somewhere on screen um, that you have to think about for later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, hopefully they're... Uh... You know, able to bounce back. They do have to play uh, in the losers, so we'll hopefully see them later on. But let's see. We're waiting on the results of Riazu and Bumba Chunka to determine our other winner's semis match. But I think we do have our other one locked in and ready to go. It will be Bojack versus Cam. 
All right, Cam coming in here for round two against, I think, our recent Wednesday Night Fight new winner, Bo Jackington, Bo Jack. Uh, Azrael, um, Adachi Shell, um, Azrael, I, one of those, one of the characters that's been on the uh, uptick recently as far as, you know, playing decently well in the current metagame. Um, sure, we'll see lots of growlers to deal with projectiles um, in just general, being able to uh, punish hopefully cam for any mistakes that are made all right just it seems like riazo and bowman chunga just finished so i'm waiting to hear the results from that and actually i think we'll have i think we'll actually have yeah okay we'll actually have riazo and serene up next uh, just so that you know cam has a little bit of a breather <laughs> all right yeah gotta you know, drink your water between sets. Um, you know, they got timeouts in real sports for not just manipulating the clock, but also for recharging. Um, just like, you know, you should recharge as you're enjoying these sets. Um, we'll get Serene and Riazzo. Then. Um, but, so, you know, Riazzo doesn't need a break, clearly. Uh, always raring and ready to go. It's only when you're on stream that you, you, got, you got the fatigue. Mm-hmm. All right, Riazzo telling us to watch Pokemon Goddary. Uh, I approve in some ways, um, but yeah, we're going to see her against Serene Smile, Waldstein player. Uh, number two for today, but 200,000 and something in our hearts. Can't escape from crossing fate. I got Makoto Yumi today. Yep, choosing to forego the nine for a bit. This is a team that definitely have seen from Riazzo before, so not anything out of the usual. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've also seen plenty of racial shenanigans already getting started. You've got the assist plus command grab strike through a mix. Yeah, you can't escape. The lightning's always coming. And yeah, bats are still coming. Good blocks on the overheads from Riazzo, but still getting clipped by the Waldstein assist. And yeah, it's. Oh no! Still there. Punished for that. That's crazy. Oh, actual little true deep punish on the DP. First was locked out during that whole situation. Not able to get a push block. TRM attempt. Keep him from jumping. Oh, the five B gets cut out. First at the right time and gets the grab as well. The mix, Goes uh, for a reset, but uh, it works out. And yeah, Waldstein looking a little worse for wear, but still Rachel pretty full, filled up in the back line. As I say, as she gets first punished. <laughs> well, you know, Riazza making good use of that 6P coming in the back, able to run first even with something in the token. Uh, oh no, Waldstein not able to hit that the assist. <laughs> okay, very unlucky for Serene there. Going to be losing a lot of time. But this is the character you want. You want Rachel out here, be able to have level four residents put out some funny wind, funny frogs. Looking for funny it. Funny situation, funny chip damage as well. You know, yeah. if the, if that situation does happen, because currently Riazza looking like they're uh, trying to keep that resonance from being used. Mm, yeah, I don't think I agree with not spending the super to kind of milk out the CC time. Instead, tries to go for Oki, and unfortunately, he's going to lose Makoto for that. Uh, Got to deal with this. I have no words. <laughs> the counter procked on the George, but unfortunately, yeah, uh, Serene was patient enough to not try to do anything. No! But not patient enough in that situation. Uh, when going for the good stuff goes wrong, but it was right anyway, Serene, uh, unfortunately, uh, getting their DP baited from the dropped restand combo. Um, wow. And Riazzo, against all odds, able to take that one. Get ready. Yeah, you saw right there the uh, lack of damage that Rachel will put out when she has no meter, really coming to bite Serene at the end. Uh, and now you'll be able to Can't sneak away. Hit kill. That was almost any other character that would have been a kill scenario. <laughs> for sure, but you know, uh, we'll trade out the kill for Oki. Tries to fade back. Um, interesting attempt. Uh, and we're back in the situation. Uh, the situation is bad. Yeah. 
And so far, looking really good for Serene, just keeping all of the pressure going and like, oh my god, this situation. It's always funny to me. George is still there? Yuli, what are you doing? No! Able to get a pick up even after that. Yeah, tried to bait out the burst with that 2A right there, but oh no, gets their DP punished once again. They're gonna be dragging Walt in the corner. Oh, sneaky overhead attempt from the teleport. Tries to bait out more burst. No, actually, just wants to keep them in the top of this guy. That was an unblockable setup. Great job using the lightning to keep them in block stun. And oh man, down again to a solo character. Uh, it's 1v5 right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, still cooking. The, 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 the army, the, the soldiers, they're coming in. They're ready. We're in our last months, guys. What are we doing? Oh, wow. And the 5A catching the Makoto in the air and Serene tying it up 1-1. Yeah, taking it uh, very convincingly, uh, able to just use uh, Rachel's infinite and high 4P in excellent fashion there and setting up some very um just impossible to deal with situations yeah i'm sticking with this um i can imagine that having the mobility of makoto helps a lot here uh versus try having to step dash around with nine but um but then again it's nine nine the yeah. phantom definitely does have a lot of the normals and a lot of the i guess movement as well with the teleport to really uh find their way around uh rachel but i mean with the happy birthday i don't think uh I don't, th I don't think Riazza is really complaining too much. <laughs> yeah, no. You'll take this any day of the week um, as you take these two characters down to half their health. Got another situation. Green doesn't care. Just gonna keep on throwing out the assist, throwing out the cross come. He knows that the setups are so frame tight, you're able to make a mountain on Mole Hill. Unfortunately, the Mole Hill is climbing. Yeah, because Sandwich going. Ooh, and the active swap going to be killing off the character with that too. Up to solo Rachel, only resonance level two as well. Yeah, the meter game's not gonna be as prominent as it would be otherwise. And you're gonna have to hold a lot of this because you want that meter to do Tempest Dahlia or Bottom by Lily. Uh, they're gonna be running out of resonance soon though. This combo goes for a while. Blue beats it even. I will try to go for a grab on the wake up, but unfortunately, that's dead. Yeah, very much so. Uh, yeah, the counter hit on that, the counter hit plus the uh, CC version able to do a grip of damage. And Rachel getting punched out of this uh, this game. Also, I gotta tell you, my game did not like the screen freeze happening during <laughs> Tempest Dahlia. <laughs> I can imagine that. The, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen. Our game engines do their best to, you know, keep that all in line. But, you know, sometimes when the clashes are numerous, uh, things, things chug a bit. Uh, just like the intro is chugging just a little bit here. But it doesn't matter. We're getting back into it. Uh, still playing the racial points. And the Makoto already able to get in. Able to avoid the wall side 5 feet. But here it begins. Once again in the corner. The opposite corner that we usually see this time. But nonetheless, yeah. Serene keeping the pressure going. Almost having somebody training the back, able to get the counter hit on Yumi, going to dump some meter. Uh, Serene very good at using the EX uh, claws to extend their combo when they need to. And I'm so surprised I picked up. Oh! Based off the tag, not able to do much with it, and then, you know, Yumi just gets, by, hit, gets hit by a stray beam, and we're still here. We are Barely, though. Here. Gets yeah. command grabbed at the very beginning there. I think Serene knows that those characters are one more touch. Trying to save that meter for the super to confirm. You know what? We don't need the meter, actually. Whoa! Coming from the top rope. And the extra hit stop making it so you can punish. Yeah, still just playing, you know, the zoning game. I mean, really, yeah, that's kind of the play that uh, Serene needs to make a lot of the time. Serene's movement is, is just evolving, uh, able to get a cross up triangle jump with the Rachel. Oh my God, gets a, sneaks a switch in there too, and Yumi's gone, and wow, tying it up 2-2.
Yeah, that situation just before, you know, going in, it was just like, yeah, Riazzo, the onus is on him to try and get in. But at the same time, it's just like, Rachel can clear that gap so quickly with wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we just, as we saw, it's just like, she, she can be like all the way full screen. And then as soon as, you know, you get put in blocks done, she could just be right in your face. Get and you have ready. to deal with whatever the mix up is afterwards. Yeah. And I think, you know, typically uh, Rachel has a 50 50 with, you know, going for low or going for the uh, wind instant air, air JA. But also able, to, now I'm seeing from Serene, uh, go cross up as well. So. The layers are just increasing here. It gets harder and harder to deal with this character. I'm surprised Rachel was in that happy birthday for as long as she was. But once again, the active swap coming into play from Riazzo and really putting in some work. Waldstein already almost dead. 20k health are uh, not going to mean much, especially when you've got four meters cooking in back, uh, able to give her the Waldstein. We're down to solo Rachel, residence level one. This character's great in residence, but you need meter. Oh, that's a start. I mean, they had enough meter to avoid that situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, good use of the foray, getting more and more hits. And just it's so many cannons, hello? Oh, the DP, DP assist, assist, single character? And fireballs are coming. Uh, Rachel, for once, out of wind, and that's actually coming to bite Serene in the butt. Uh, Getting punished for that attempt, and uh, you know, we yeah, are going to get a chance. Uh, Ooh, the stagger pressure, unfortunately, baiting out that DP and going to be securing the win for Riazzo 3 2 over yeah. Serene. I noticed that Serene was just kind of haphazardly switching between the point and assist characters um, during that set. Last time, the last one up, he went Wildstein point. Uh, not sure what I'm making. Not sure what inference to draw from that, but uh, definitely did not get started at the beginning, and we were able to get that wall sign out of there really quickly and secure the rest of that round. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, well, good stuff to Riazza. We'll be seeing you in the uh, winners finals, but we got to see what, who your opponent is first um, between Bojack and Cam. And the Bojack already in the lobby. Cam, I'm sure, will be following suit very soon. But uh, Bojack has uh, been on a bit of a tear as of late. The Azriel Adachi very much cooking and uh, very much can kill you. <laughs> as mm -hmm. we saw last week at WNF. It is You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to see your DP be punished at all. Because even with one meter... Asriel is going to kill you. Of course, he's coming, always approaching, um, walking intimidatingly from a distance. And uh, once he's in, boy, that could be curtains for you. But, you know, going to be placing off against uh, Yumi Sess, evasive teams, able to put out a lot of projectiles to make Asriel slow down a bit. Um, but, you know, Asriel's got a partner, Adachi out there, shooting those lasers, going to be able to blow through anything that Cam may be able to set up if he does get it off. Uh, interested to see how this dynamic will work out. Absolutely. Get ready. And yeah, as you mentioned, you know the Adachi definitely enabling uh, Azrael to kind of get their mix and get uh, get their threatening game plan started even easier if if allowed. So. Gotta be, gotta be able to prevent that. Gotta be able to prevent any sort of ZO shenanigans from happening. Almost a good start. Actually, a pretty good start. The assist was called after Adachi got hit, so able to CC. I'm just gonna do a small, quick combo. And by small, we mean do 6k damage. Uh, able to escape the restraining dive kicks. Ooh, DP punished though. Going to be taking a good amount of damage from this. Yeah, Seth Starter, uh, highly dependent on what damage he gets. Able to pogo stick off and come back in. Uh, Cam's technical control of this character shining through. Uh, I see this character's dead. This is gonna be optimized. Oh yeah, he's absolutely dead. Absolutely gone. Oh my lord. <laughs> Oh my god. This is why I love seeing Cam work. 
that was off a of burst punish, right? Yeah. Is yep. that crazy? That's insane. Yeah, that was off a of burst punish. That was 6.7k. Well, we had to add another 10 to that 6.7, and that equals dead for a lot of oh, characters. 16.7, 16 my bad, my bad. I, I, it's all right. We I got forgot, the, I forgot the extra error. one, my bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Azrael's had enough of this. Unfortunately, the dimensional prism of uh, cross combo is unescapable, uh, going to go down 1-0. Yeah, it was looking pretty decent in the beginning for Bojack, and then uh, burst punish. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Versus Cam, you gotta really have to have the mindset of do not give him a fixed situation um, to like you know do a combo off of it. Whether it's a DP or a burst punish, uh, Cam has those um, has those paths mapped out. It's got the game plan all laid out for those situations, and boy, you are going to regret <laughs> even trying. Right, so far, it's just oh no, we caught into the dead zone of that. Could have actually been a significant punish, actually, but only got a DP for that. Ooh. Okay, goes for the quick reset after the initial. Try to you know stop Camp from bursting. Unfortunately, he's gonna keep it going. He's just going. He's just moving. Ooh. All right. Uh, that's able to, you know, commit to doing a second backdash out of the first one and chose to flip up in the air, avoiding the grab. And there you go. And, and that's once again, the first punish. Unfortunately, not in the corner for Cam, so not able to get, like, the kill that we saw last time. Oh, and not able to block that last hit low. This might be, does not have a burst back in time and it's going to be able to cash out. Excuse me? Oh, no. I'm not sure what Cam was trying to do there, but that's going to lead to a dead character. Yeah, and that's not where you want to be going off. Um, and my mistake on the last one, Cam did not have enough meter for the DHT. So, not going to matter here, I think. Uh, Bojack is going to continue running this train. going to drag Yumi all the way to the other corner. Might get a lot of meter from this. Really going to make it? And the oh, yep. Yeah going to be going into the air unblockable situation with that setup and killing off the Yumi, tying it up 1-1. That was definitely a uh, two bad choices, because if you let it blue beat, you're going to get that uh, super minimum damage coming in. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really think there's anything Cam could do there. Maybe attempt a forward attack to move you ever so slightly to escape the DP. But yeah, not no good answers and uh, losing that game. So just gotta dust yourself off, go into the next game. Nadashi J A S really fast. Excuse me, the trap card coming in from the back. Uh, Adachi getting hit in the back and uh, going back right to the corner again. Surprise, air raid. Oh, but a good DP from Bojax getting out of that situation and yeah, basically setting up, you know, the Zio shenanigans. And now you gotta block this. Yeah, loses the CT for that, but you know, I think uh, you don't want to burst against this team anyways. It's all fine. And great use of that DP to keep it all unburstable. Uh, to kill Yumi, actually. Wild. I love seeing that. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> Bojack can Bojack's, over. Bojack's a treat. Bojack's a treat to watch. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Got impeccable control over Azriel's extremely good step dash. Uh, doing a lot of work. Oh no! The Azriel classic put out a projectile. He wants to growl her and then deny that projectile absorption. He's going to the buffet, not able to get anything from it. The DP, unfortunate. You're going to be losing Azriel for that, homie. Not even going to be needing the meter for it either. You gotta be careful now because resonance, Seth, Ooh, can't you know, be a threat. Yeah. Bojack's gonna try to fight. So this excuse. Oh my God, are you serious? Using Adachi JA in new JC in neutral, the bad lad. That's insane. Unfortunately, going to not enough to kill the Seth. It's just barely not. And yeah. that anti air, Cam. Setting the life totals to even now. 
Oh, you know. Fess is going to be putting out a lot of the orbs, going to... Excuse, okay. Uh, Adachi, guard point not lasting long enough to get through the very late Fess, JB, and Cam taking that game in thrilling fashion. Could... Hmm, could Bojack have, like... Because I know you can hold that, right? You can hold that JC so it sends them all the way to the ground, right? That's the JBB fault. That's the 2BB Oh, fault. Yeah, JC oh, okay, doesn't okay. do the ground slam. So I think, I mean, he also spent his double jump. I don't think there's any way you can get JC milk a little bit more damage. It was just extremely unfortunate. Yeah, um, okay. That's at the small of the sliver end. Yeah, I mean... That was an amazing hit confirm. The Street Fighter Six gameplay, uh, you know, the practice yeah, no, that was that sure. was insane. But wow, yeah, Bojack believing that Adachi Two B and JC more than I believe in myself. Well said, P Thirty. Uh, you, know, you gotta believe yourself a little bit more. You have another game to get through. Make it two two. We'll see if you can. Defense from Cam avoiding the situation and fortunately, yeah, gonna get clipped by these Zeos, but still could have been a lot more damage that burst. Lost. Right, Azrael putting out just a lot of hard to avoid hitboxes everywhere. Uh, going to get a good group of damage from this Zeo you know, Cam and put him in the corner. Be careful. Oh no, that's a whiff. <laughs> the slow walk approach with the grab. I mean, that's a dead character nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, unlucky. <laughs> Off ever so slightly on the calculations and Yumi 5A whipping right in front of Asriel's face. Uh, going to be down with solo sets, but this character's done it before. Can do it again. Better not act as Jack. Oh my god, you did it. I mean, it, it's worked out. It worked out right there. Oh, this character's so low. Bojack's been really good about, like, yeah, just even though it's like a scary situation to call your assist, he's been really good about keeping these active swaps for your assist calls so it's relatively safe. As soon as I say that, of course, he gets happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, the, the curse coming through in full effect. No, no resonance available on Cam side to confirm that kill. Uh, we'll just take it, Tashi. That's fine. I think he might be barely alive. Though. Yep, just barely. Oh my it's god, the 2B! Near Automata, unfortunately, not able to pull out and save the day. But that's okay, we've got Azrael and is going to punch out Seth, uh, breaking into 2 2. Bojack's options on Wake Up just confuse me. It confuses me as to why would you do that, and also it confuses me as to why did that work. I'm amazed that Adachi 2B reached. I can only imagine that Cam pressed 5B or something to make Seth move forward ever so slightly, but. I'm telling you, man, Bojack's Bojack's cracked. He's no, he just knows. He He's just, he this. just has, he, he he makes Adachi two B look like a good button. Yeah. But that's that's a sign that you're a real specialist, right? You have you make the buttons that people say now this button's not very good. You make them look great. Uh, Unfortunately, this is definitely really not good, right? a great situation for Bojack with this start. Oh my God. Oh. It was reset. Could have. I mean, it's that's still almost a dead character. <laughs> uh, not where you want me starting. Uh, especially because this show. Very clutch. Oh no, it's dangerous. It's even hard to act to switch out. Bojack manages it. Able to. I mean, still, you're you're already starting at a deficit this early. You gotta be careful. That's how you get it started. Um, yeah. Able to get the hit. A. Hey. Hey. Yep, with that Valiant, that's definitely going to hurt a lot. Oh no! It got burst punished. That's that's rough. Yeah, and Bojack that's... looking to really even things out here with this. Building a lot of meter too. Good block. And a great act switch as well. Get that cross slash in. Everything. Yeah, just a matter of two interactions. We're back to a basically even game. Oh no! So smart. He's so smart! Oh my god, he's such a genius! 
Oh my god, that's killing off the set. It's a 1v1 now. Yeah, Cam, <laughs> seeing the ground, Aruth was like, okay, yeah, I can wait a bit. He's got to, you know, recover from this. That orb coming in ever so little, uh, late. Um, Not quite going to be enough to kill, but it now it is. It, it, oh my god, the DP. It's a one touch situation. You got to be careful. Oh, oh, not quite believing enough. Oh, but, but the back dash. Oh, and the 5A from Cam able to clutch it out, taking it over Bojack 3 2. Wow, what a set. The bravery of Bojack to back dash in that ever so slightly minus situation. Dude, you're going to get clipped, but. Well, that's how you know. And tech will control the character. Uh, unfortunately, Bojack not able to ride that momentum. Cam is going to move on to the final. What an intense set. Okay, yeah, so uh, our winner is going to be Riazzo and Cam, but we're going to be looking at our losers matches first. I'm not sure which one we'll be seeing, though. Uh, we've got a plethora of options. There's a verifiable buffet down there of matches to see. I think first up we'll have Bumba Chunga and Ichu Deku on deck. All right. We're going to get our uh, first Ruby the Rose sighting today, um, coming from Ichu Deku in all likelihood. Um, and see how that matches up against uh, Bumba Chunga's uh, faceful lapis. Bubba Chugga definitely makes good use of uh, the air buttons, the very good air buttons that both these characters provide, but Deku makes very good use of armor <laughs> with Yang. Very much will be ready to swing in your face, just go through whatever button you might have if you're not ready for it. And also has some really interesting setups with uh, the Ruby Yang as well, so definitely looking forward to see how these two interact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a team that has no shortage of um, you know, played tech and match footage out there, but Ichi Tech is still pulling out new stuff. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm curious how Bumblechunk will play around the Yang armor. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! You know, we'll, we'll play it off just like that, uh, going to get a happy Thursday and uh, get that axe level going. Not going to spend this, no, we are going to spend the CC. Uh, get a little bit more damage, get a little more meter off of that. Pretty worth it, take 10k on two characters. Yeah, no, that's a really good start. <laughs> and Yang running into that. Uh, going to, yeah, burst out to try to keep Semblis Yang on the table. Uh, but we're going before going Ruby, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh wrong no. Assist. Yeah, wrong assist. Unfortunate. Could have definitely killed her off right there. Mm. Both these players going for the grab OK and getting jumped out twice. Uh, no more Simple Chang. Going to be down Solo Ruby. And uh, going to be out of Solo Ruby. That was... You're talking about the bad luck, right? Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you say, I got high birthday, it's round start, it's fine. We'll go, we'll, we'll go, we'll go next round, it'll be fine. Just uh, write that one off on your taxes as a uh, unfortunate act. <laughs> Get ready! Well, can't escape from crossing fate! Already, Bumble Chunga just knows the round start options, getting the hit on Yang. He's taking her, get some Oki, the throw works out this time, not able to pick up. He's throwing out that armor. Ooh, someone's looking at the situation. Gonna jump out for free. Ooh, dangerous. Yeah, bursts out. Call to keep the assembly tank active. 
Well, you can do some, do some OP. Milk out the time. Keep that partner bar climbing. But call that 60. I guess it's fine. It works out. Able to get bursted out cleanly, though. And just gonna slow this down. And 5 C cut. EQ's got a lot of resources, but not much in terms of life. And, you know, Ruby's got great air, air buttons. Yunu has equally good buttons. Jin able to get the Toga as well. Make Yang block. Oh, so scary. Has to pop that semblance. Or that really. Yeah, has to, has, has to pop it. Just, ooh, DP's out of the situation, but... Oh, no! Frame that's trap? a really... That's really good for Deku. That's that's dead. 100%. Yeah. Just close enough to the corner to get the 2C loops. Uh, and we're going to be down to Labyrinth to get his Yang. Oh, base out the... Grab, but not able to do anything with it. He jumps out. Oh no, I think that's a good jump she's to the yep. As, as he's gone. Getting a character that could just dump out 11k solo um, in the corner once Semblance is up and E2 tying it up. As I said, uh, Jack, you're very much willing to press those buttons, the, the B button very very adamantly uh and if you don't have a solution for it you're gonna you're gonna hit get hit in the face pretty hard yeah that b button awfully tempting you know the uh good one to press was yang for sure and um i, I think once you saw um e2 get into semblance definitely a lot more aggressive um trying to press those yang buttons as well so mm -hmm. i'll see if bumbo jungle can adapt definitely um was doing really good at the beginning, but unfortunately let Semblance Yang escape and uh, take out two characters by itself. Uh, making a good job, taking out the Tagging Ruby 4P. Burst early. I kind of respect that decision, yeah. And Deku bursting early as well. Kind of like putting a stop to the momentum a little bit. Kind of resetting back to a bit more neutral. Yeah, but I think, you know, based on last round, uh, <laughs> oh. the hand on the Jin vs. Ruby, uh, played very patiently there, and going to get the situation out there. Where are they going? What was happening there? What is going on? We're just looping buttons, we're crossing over out, each of them saying, no, you take the corner, you take the corner. Um, in the end, uh, EG Deku is going to be stuck with that card, or it's a Bumachanga. And yeah, save jump. No birds. Someone's going to ride this out. Let's see if we can block one more mix up. Cannot. Oh, unfortunately. Yeah, and unfortunate burst there. That's a. I don't know. It's been two meter there. I, I still think that's dead. It's definitely a choose your favorite child situation. Oh, no. Decided not to go into cross combo. If they went to cross combo, that was dead. Yeah, so both these children are going to live. <laughs> Fortunately for Bumba Chunga. But just out of sliver. Full screen ice car. Going to be landing the hit. Will you tag out? Yeah, get the setup. Tag out. Oh, try to go for a throw there. Not, no bite. But still, I... Oh, man, Bumba. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, it was basically choose which character you wanted to die at that point. Yeah, and... Uh, I won't say he chose wrong. Uh, looking like it chose pretty good so far, unfortunately. Uh, Labyrinth JB almost got the JC pickup as well. Oh, but not gonna... mm, the jumps over the chain knuckle and Deku taking their second game up to one. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, that Labyrinth had something, had something cooking for a comeback, but not able to pull it off. Me too. Um, definitely showing that, hey, if I don't get round start happy burst date, I can, I can play the game. I can, I can start getting things rolling. Let's see um, if I'm sure can answer. Yeah, just like a couple of unfortunate decisions from Bumba, especially like with the bursts as well. Just Deku was ready for it and definitely, mm, yeah, you definitely got to kill off that Yang early if you're able to. Yeah, one of, I think, uh, Deku's stronger characters for sure. Uh, I had to go for that, I think, 2B just a little bit late. Head in bone or the head armor not coming in fast enough. Let me get that Ruby knockdown. Try to set up the end. Whoa, okay. 
Just going all over the place. Cross up mix up, not quite working out there. Trying to avoid everything. Yeah, Randy Buzzsaw, I like it. That's the busy Buzzsaw around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the 4P reaching the heavens, cut, catching the gin, and again, we're in the corner. I'm gonna try to reasserting the turn. Unfortunately, puts Yang into semblance. You're in 2B territory, my dude. And uh, Labrador's 4P cleaning up the mess. Oh, good pick on the throw. Oh no, baited out the burst once again. That's that's a dead Labrys. Hopefully you route or this time is gonna actually yeah go into the dynamic route, gonna be able to spend all this bar. If you need to, uh, you will. Spoiler alert. But that's okay, you're gonna let Yang recover some health in the back and be down to solo gym. Oh no, gets caught with the overhead. Is that gonna be enough? You can get one more chance, I think. Yeah, CC didn't come back on time. Yeah. It would be the normal version. Uh, very luckily, though, ran out all this time. Time for the Chunga. I just told it three times trade. in a row and pray, but not gonna work out. And with that, Deku will be winning the set. 3-1 over Bumba Shanga. Valiant effort, but nonetheless, good stuff to Deku. Yep. And, uh, you know, Deku's reward looks like it'll be a face-off against Bojack in winner in Loser's quarterfinals. Um, out, of the, out of the frying pan into the fire, as they say. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this is where I would say we have our other losers round two match go up, but uh, turns out that already played apparently without my knowledge. I see. So uh, yeah, losers round two over there looking like Waluigi Tail slash AKA Mayo. Uh, Triumphing over Jose Christ. Um, and then we'll be playing against Serene Smile in our in losers quarters. That is correct, and that is that is the match that's actually going to be played right now. Okay, so um, that Merkava tank or uh, Mika Merkava, um, we'll see how this works. Um, if Serene is feeling adventurous, we might get that tank mirror, uh, but we're not. Serene is playing. Serene's all got you know business suit on. Uh, we're all business today. Wolf and Rachel coming in through. This is gonna be get hard ready. for uh, Mayo, I think. Uh, both Merkava and Blitz Tank, big characters, and uh, not much in the way of being able to get around some of Rachel stuff easily. I mean, Merkava does kind of go down to the ground a bit whenever he's dashing forward, so that could be could be beneficial in a sense. But I mean, yeah, definitely will be more liable to get clipped by these Lobelias. Mm -hmm. And already, without even landing a hit, able to push Merkava all the way to the corner. But you know, reverse Uno card backs. And we're gonna get started. Not quite able to bait out the DP and keep being put in the corner themselves. You know, it's uh, we're <laughs> hanging around that corner an awful lot. Uh, Serene's gonna get the better of it though. Um, you know, Mayo has a lot of meter, but unfortunately, a Makabe with not a lot of health. Yeah, definitely have to find a way to get that Merkava out of there at some point soon because you are playing a dangerous game right now, my friend. Yeah, you're one uh, bon and bon really away from losing character uh, unceremoniously. Gets a good, um, you know, noodle arm through that set of projectiles. The noodle arm does not clash. Um, so it is useful in this matchup particularly. Oh my god, I didn't realize I the, the tank was still in the combo. Already not looking great for Mayo. Going to get a you know safe normal combo. See if you can kind of slowly and surely uh, wane your way back into the game. Yeah, good use of the tank laser to kill some of the bats as you walked in. So far, Mayo's kind of like bringing it back a little bit, but you know gets clipped by the assist. Not quite as bad as it could have been though. Green playing very patiently, um, I think, as you should. Um, Tank is one laser away from killing one of your characters. Um, so, you don't want to let him get that for free. And Serene's patience paying off there. Um, Tank yep, absolutely. on a weird side, but 
Howard's out. Alright, so 1 0 for Serene Smile after that match. Definitely, I think, let that Merkava cook a little bit too long um, in the point war. Um, otherwise, I think the pressure, the uh, like, you know, offense structure worked out very well. But um, you can kind of see that Mayo was not very spread about putting in tank kind of in neutral. So, you know, mm -hmm. as, as we'll just start with tanks. And then we, that way we don't have to worry about tagging him in. Especially if Serene's going to start wall sign point. Ooh. Not quite able to whip punish that, but still able to put. Well, uh, uh, well, yeah, okay. Still able to put the tank in the corner. <laughs> yeah, tank having plenty of HP to kind of survive uh, a lot of the scratches that Rachel will put on, and the armor getting through all of those beams. Oh, scary! Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah good beam good. use. All right, the tanks in the Merkava. We want to play the neutral a little bit more. Um... Oh, that's where, that's where you're saying the low dash getting through. Exactly, exactly. Right, I want to say that was a reaction to the assist call, just trying to get that chip damage on Wallstein. But Rachel here is the problem, my dude. Um, character's still very healthy and one hit away from killing. Oh, okay, good. I didn't I even realize. Way. I didn't even realize that it was sw he switched to the tank and then bursted into Merkava. I didn't even realize that until afterwards. <laughs> Thanks for explaining what happened. I was just flummoxed. Uh, worked out very well for Mayo. Uh, that is not going to work out, though. Tank into a wall sign with the Rachel 5P falling on top of you. Going to have to resonance really quickly. On, so. Did not get the chance, unfortunately. And Serene up 2-0 in the set. Mayo can, has shown that they're able to like really kind of put up a bit of a... Like, enough of a fight to make things relatively close but i think the problem is really finding a way to close things out and get like that final hit on a character really yeah definitely able to like play parts of the neutral very well but not like we haven't seen mayo get any like good knockdown situation for a mix-up uh, with this mm -hmm. team um and perhaps because of that going to switch to Merkava mika might be able to you know have a little bit more flexibility in their oki at mid screen I wonder if this will be a similar situation as last time where it's like the Mika does so much better and it's like, why didn't you play this from the start? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, you gotta play the character, you know, takes one of those characters, like even if he's not doing well, you want to, you want to play him. Fair enough. Fair enough. I understand the sentiment, but so far, uh, Serene not really given this Mika the time of day. And unfortunately, same goes for the Merkava really yeah. at this point. Uh, you know, not a character that is able to do too much when the optical course is already out. Um, and right there, uh, getting happy birthday for their troubles. Uh, no meter, but I... Uh, I don't know what's happening, I but... Somewhere, but there are too many sprites on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And now you're left with solo Mika once again, but you gotta block the overheads. You gotta block whatever Rachel's coming in with. Ooh! Oh no, not quite ready for the DP afterwards. Okay, swing swing a few times, try to get something going. Try, try, I guess that missile was a full mux reset. Uh, let's see if we can get this wall sign out of here. Amika, very low on health. Okay. Oh my god. The, grab? The, the, the command grab? grab. I, uh, look at this. This is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. The Miko putting in a lot of work, but... It's a little. It's probably too late at this point. Yeah, not the best of situations, but. Oh, you're dead. You got a lot. Yeah. yeah. No. no it, 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 oh, you're, you're not dead. Trolling. What are you Matt, doing? You're, 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 what's happening? You just want, okay. Serene just wanted the funny, all the lightning on the screen. Uh, yeah. Mio, uh, Mika helpless against that onslaught of obstacles and uh, Rachel cleaning up even without a uh, less super good from at the end. So. I think I think I see what you're saying that the uh, Meek was able to you know after a knockdown run a much stronger game plan than we've seen out of the the blitz thing. But there was a part in, in the beginning, right? It was still extremely hard to get in, even with the uh, the Meek and Merkava.
Exactly, exactly. And it was still just like we saw a lot more come out of the Mika, a lot more potential coming out of from the Mika. And I'm feeling, I still feel like Mayo just should have run that from the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's always another bracket, always another time, always a lobby open. So hoping to see Mayo again in the future. Um, but that will be it for their Wednesday Night Fights around this week. Hopefully, hopefully, but we will be moving on to our next match of Bojack versus E2 Teku. This is going to be a slugfest. This is going to be an absolute slugfest, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, I can imagine uh, Bojack will be dashing all around with that Azrael. Uh, it'll, it'll be up to E2 to see if, you know, he can tag him on their uh, very, you know, aggressive movement. Um, well, let's see, let's see it going. I mean, they're they're just. I don't know what I don't know what to expect from this. I know what to kind of expect from Deku, but at the same time, Bojack is just such a force of nature that it's like it could really go either way. Yeah, but already what in the uh, world things are working out start? great for Deku, <laughs> playing into the that armor. armor. Yeah, I think that was an armor on um, Azrael 5P, was it not? It was. It was, and somehow a... it's still. Go ahead. I was saying, I guess I'm considered a head property or air attack um, because Yang JV does not arm her ground typically. The most wild part of it was that it hit behind her <laughs> to hit the Azrael. But nonetheless, it's a very good start for Deku. But Bojack, what in the world? ET Deku has got the eye of the tiger right now, able to snipe out the Gustav. Yo, and get the active swap command grab, keeping it relatively burst safe. Oh no, definitely did not want that JC, I feel. No, that uh, drifting just far away enough from Azrael to not make it a threat. And he's going to be able to tag out, play Adachi into a non semblant He's got a bit of ground to make up here, Ibu Deku. That's a start. Wow. Oh, oh no. no! Yang, what are you doing? The air pump? You're facing. You're facing the wrong way. Right. I think E2 is going to be allowed to get their assemblies going for this. Um, Bojack is not going to get the bar to kill. But you will get a safe yes. I think. It makes things a lot easier to deal with. Jack, gotta hold this. Mm -hmm. Gotta hold all of this. Oh no. Good luck. Yo, uh, I was right. gonna say, Bojack, you might want to be careful with how you call your assist, but you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, it's all it's all frame fight, and that was actually really fortunate, I think, from um, Bojack to get that super ender on the Yang because Semblance is a very powerful tool. You get to pause the screen, you get to see what's going on, and in a lot of cases, get to do something that will just you know counter whatever OP your opponent is trying to run, except for when there's a safe jump. And when you have Adachi Bezio as well, um, you lose your turn again, man. It's it's real hard to deal with. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Going to the next round, um, Bojack doing the quick counterplay, trying not to let Yang armor through anything else. Oh, it's again the again. two Bs. Blue beat combo, so Deku could have prevented a lot of this damage from happening, but. Wait. Wait, no! Ooh. Oh, it didn't have the meter. It wasn't confident. Yeah, I was going to say, I was, I, was, I was looking at the wrong meter, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, this is going to work out wonderfully. I think he will take this, and he will not take the drop combo. It's going to oh, not have to eat this. I would try to burst out. Oh, tag out works just as well, too. Good blocks. Not good enough, though. Unfortunately, yeah, it gets clipped. Kicked in the feet, the ankles, whatever you want to call it. That's a, yeah, that's an air unblockable setup right there. Ah... Uh, a little bit slow on that action switch, I think, for Bojack. Probably hoping to hit same side first. 
Um, now he's got to load this. Semblance Yang. Semblance Yang. Oh, yep. Semblance Yang calls out the burst. Going to be a lot of damage on the table, but I don't think it's going to be enough to kill. No, oh. not with that much health. And one more. He's not going for the save. He's just going to let him cross himself up. Down to Solas. Or Solo Adachi. Yeah, oh no, yeah. Through. That wall was worth it. It's going to be 2050. Someone's still going to get hit by a B gunshot. Active switch. So good. It's so good. Yeah, Ruby was made for this game, made for these systems. Um, and E2 Deku is made for making the game 1-1. Uh, one, one. Get, get ready. ready. All right, going into our third game of the set. Yeah. And I feel like that was a 2B right there from Bojack once again. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a 2B right there from Yang going to be uh, getting the situation going on the Azrael. Mix B, where will we be going? Oh, good backdash. Uh, oh, no. All right, that could have been a lot worse for yeah, Deku, maybe. especially... It could have been a happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, not ideal for sure. Going to be putting Yang all the way in the corner. The both get put Yang in the semblance where you just leave him out. No, we're going right for it. We got to get through far. We're going to go do all of it. Maybe assist. Oh, no. There she goes. Yeah. Was able to get in the semblance, but wasn't able to make use of it at all, really. And uh, now you got to, I was going to say, you got to hold whatever this mix up is. Rube Goldberg machine of a dot of uh, <laughs> 5P, keeping that all locked down. Uh, Easy Deku. Good luck, I guess, for game soon. Actually, no, we're not going to. We're going to. Oh my god, up, just the run. Grab a dot the, the Kyle Kiske. Yep. Ooh, oh, no, lucky. not quite far enough to. Yeah, not quite close enough to actually connect with that. And that's, I think, the wrong super you want to do there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, ooh, able to survive? No, get sidekick for their troubles. I wonder if uh, Ruby did the other super, if she would have been able to clip the persona and make Azrael chase her, or at the very least force him to use a super to um, get, any, get a punish. A little bit, a little bit um, well, it was the wrong super from my initial analysis, but I'm not sure how that had worked ready. out. Maybe was thinking that the cutscene effect of the, um, the cutscene effect and the faster startup for the uh, back super would come into play there. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. All right, well, the sale is old as time, BZO 6 p uh, and that tail is counter, really counter hit really Gustav play. able to convert off of that afterwards as well. And you know, this is I, I, I've seen this show before. <laughs> yeah. The rerun always ooh, go same side this time. Does not get the act switch in time, just BP's into the corner for his troubles. Uh, that's not what, what he wanted to do. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to wager. Oh, oh no, to once able again, to not gonna be able to dodge them once. If you choosing um, Yang as the favorite child in that situation, uh, Ruby could take a grip of damage and put into another situation. Bojack holding all this meter, I think definitely hoping to kill one of the characters, goes through the entire 5A string, able to get to the BBCF Classic 5D overhead clips, and down to Yang. The PC bar, always available. If he didn't want to jump, he knew he was going to get air unblockable there, but instead he the best he tried to go on the ground. Uh, Bojack going to be moving over to our loser's final, taking it 3 1. Loser's semi finals, by the way. Never mind. <laughs> no, I, was off, finals, yeah. I was off by one, uh, one modifier. 
Uh, that's okay. That's why we got you to help uh, keep me in line and help keep the bracket running, as I'm sure that's a lot of work to manage as well. Ah, it's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> Well, thank you as always. I think you'll be keeping that bracket running into I, we're doing our winners finals. Is that correct? That is correct. It will be Riazzo versus Cam up next. Very exciting. Riazzo, um, doing the good work and being in our lobby at the moment, still waiting on Cam. Soon.tm. There he is. Ask, and you shall receive. It looks like we are good to go. Yeah, Yumi Grand Finals cooking up there. Um, Yasuo is still playing the Makoto Yumi. I wouldn't be surprised if they rock this for the rest of the tournament. It's been doing good work. Um, but Cam... Cam's going to be a hard one. Um, definitely uh, some characters that... Well, Zess... I don't know. I'm not sure how these characters play into Makoto. Definitely... Um, could be interesting to see. I mean, we've seen the setups that Cam is able to pull off. We've seen what happens if you let him hit you without a burst available. <laughs> Hopefully, we have to keep their wits about them um, in this drawn out head of combat. We're going to get started. Uh, both players trying to throw sort of buttons around the start, but instead, it will be um, walk up, walk forward, walk you into the corner. Cam getting the first one. Getting at the corner set up and gotta hold this mix, whatever it is. Oh, mm. yep, that, yep. Mm. Uh, I had to do that. Makoto was definitely going to be dead after that situation, but right. this is still gonna hurt. gonna be close to dead as well. Uh, not a good decision to make, anyways. Oh, I want the combo drops. Very fortunate. And this is gonna be a good wave of momentum to ride. Oh, no. I think that was a Try to go for a reset. reset. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I think he thought he had meter, more meter than he did, because I feel oh, like it was definitely supposed to be a super. I see, that makes sense. Um, definitely a hard scene to keep track of in all that chaos, but Cam getting the most of it, and oh my gosh, Riel's gonna have to have quite a mountain climb here. Uh, there is neutral being played, but unfortunately it is being played no longer. That, provided this doesn't drop, that should be dead. Absolutely, yeah, keep it simple, get that dash super in, and uh, Cam's gonna go up one zero. This is the end you deserve. I, I agree, Chop. It might have been EX Icicle as well. Um, <laughs> I couldn't keep track of what side uh, Cam was on. Could have been any number of things. Um, you can practice all you want, but sometimes uh, you just lose track, it's easy to flub. Um, definitely, I don't know about you, Chief. Whenever I'm playing some combo trials and there's a side switch involved, I'm just like, oh god, please. Which direction does this quarter circle? Someone say, dude, me. my my execution is terrible. So, I mean, yeah, no, I, I I personally agree. I I I run into that situation quite a bit in like, you know, games that aren't tag. Yeah, cross yourself up, hope to die. Um, that's sometimes how it goes. Round Star 2C tries to be cheeky and get something started early. Unfortunately, Test 5C do not care active enough. Uh, they're both just swinging out here. Yumi on Yumi violence. Cool. Serene telling, like, saying that I'm lying, like, saying my execution's terrible. No, my execution's not great. It's not great. <laughs> 
Oh, the orb not lasting long enough to absorb the other orb, and uh, we guys are taking, getting, taking punishment for that. Oh man, we got four bars loaded on both sides. Very scary. Ooh, oh, very unfortunate. Yeah, going to. That's that's still a happy birthday too, because Yumi's considered out. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, good synergy between the Makoto and Yumi there. Combo timer does not. I don't even know if that was a hit or a combo timer issue. Oh, and trap card comes in. Going to be punishing Riazo for their eagerness. And Makoto is going to be suffering for that. Still a better situation for Riazo than what we saw last game. Uh, both the characters in the red on the side of Cam, but I mean, you still got to hold whatever mix Cam is able to have, unless, you know, you just hit her. You don't have to hold anything because her buttons are as fast as your buttons, and that means that you can mash with impunity. Uh, Yumi coming through. No! Okay, tried to go for the sneaky corner. No hit stop. Mixed up. That orb is cooking. Uh, oh no! I wonder if that was like a dash under the whiff button and. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit too much, but I mean, that's still dead. <laughs> yeah. 100% dead. Good clutch from Cam on that. Uh, yes, that's Astro, I think, is surprisingly hard to hit um, just because of, like, the weird angle it goes at. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, don't blame Cam for dropping that. Definitely needed the Astral to get a kill in that situation. Um, but going up 2-0... That could have been a disastrous uh, situation to be in, especially like if he was able to get the astral out and be left with no meter if it whiffed. That would have been disastrous. So oh, could have been, been worse. Harder. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. You'll, you'll take the you'll just you'll take the whiff command grab um, and into no. I did it. see I did see a character swap. Yep. Yeah, I did see him switch to the nine. Coming out here, hopefully put some stop to these shenanigans. Um, Nine not a character with a lot of movement, but I don't think that Makoto has been able to move around very well. Um, Nine's large button is probably going to be having an easier time getting rid of things like absorbs um, and just teleporting out. But not going to be able to get out of this initial situation. He's going to get this knockdown. Going to get tapped in the and good burst. Burst not getting caught by the orb, fortunately, but now you're getting caught in the sandwich situation. All right, we've been practicing those uh, button into TP setups. Good job by Cam. All that red life is though, it's gonna be back. Ooh, what a throw. Going to be keeping it burst safe. And Riazo just really hasn't been given the opportunity to play. That's still hit. Yeah, no, nine uh, first going to be, you know, tracking and staying in front. So Seth's super running right into her. You're not a solo Yumi, man. Uh, Solo Yumi in a similar situation to what we saw game one. Both characters on cams. Yeah, really healthy. Yeah. And if uh, Riazo is able to get a hit into regenerating his red life, that DP combo that Cam did earlier might come back to bite him. Ooh, it's already it's cooking. It's starting. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be maybe EX Snowbirds instead of a JC right there, but still gets cooked low. She's dead. Yeah, absolutely. Goes for this super, I guess, maybe. I don't know why. Uh, it worked out. It looked cool. Oh, no. Up back dive kick. Baits out the throw. Baits out the anti-air as well. That's going to be enough to kill off the character. Riazza going down to the loser side. And Cam going into winner's side of Grands with that 3-0. Yeah, Cam, I see you practicing those throw OSs. Um, I think, you know, for... Those that don't know, if you hold up back and press BC, uh, you'll take a throw if you are if the throw comes out and you're a little bit later. Um, but you know, if you were jump first, you'll get that dive kick and punish the uh, aggressor for trying to throw you. So um, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's an OS, a little bit subtle, um, and I'm not sure if Cam was doing that, but definitely a good option to pick there in order to get out of that situation. So yeah, Cam moving on to our Grand Finals. It'll be Serene coming up next, uh, playing Bojack in Loser Semis. I'm saying the right round this time. All right, uh, waiting on, yeah, I was gonna say waiting on Cam to leave the lobby for now. 
And yeah, Bojack versus Serene. It's uh, going to be an interesting match to see how Bojack uh, navigates through. Well, really, if, if Serene's allowed to do what they need to do is Rachel. <laughs> Though the characters on screen couldn't be any more different, I think there's a there's a similar flavor of game plan going on. Adriel's not a grappler, but he's got that. He needs something to back him up to get things started. And, you know, Rachel and Adachi both have this, like obstacle course um set of setup moves adachi it's a bezio rachel it's the entire circus um so you know they're very different characters like a little bit similar in terms of gameplay um we'll see how this goes already starting off badly though Ooh. okay Good dp all right making use of that win to avoid the zeo situations that we've seen bojack be put people in yeah, you know, a very smart use of the wall type feed to drag it out the other side, get the cross up. Uh, George, George of the jungle, coming through. Yeah, Bojack trying to preemptively growler any projectiles to give Azra that invulnerability. Not gonna work out. And Serene's gonna get a knockdown, not gonna get a knockdown. We're gonna put him at full screen, it's gonna be, it's gonna work out. We don't need a knockdown where we're going. I don't even know what's happening at this point. I don't think Bojack knows either, man. That's you had two half health characters and now you're you're, you're, now you're dead lost. You yeah um yeah so you know i think Azrael adachi when i was talking about the um supporting fire plus character on screen it's, it's relatively straightforward there's a big laser there's a big man walking at you um but serene with the movement of rachel and the just bevy of things that come out that's a whole different beast yeah, 100% agree with that. But we'll see if uh, Bojack's able to adapt a little bit to the situation. Maybe keep that from happening. Also, yeah, making probably keeping in the back of their mind that like you know, yeah, Rachel can like just use wind to avoid like a lot of this. So it's not going to work as easily as we saw before. Yeah, in the Bojack's previous matches, uh, Azrael 5P and 6P have been very good for just kind of like you know keeping your turn. Um, when it's wall sign, it works just as well, but that Rachel definitely got away the first time. That all comboed, okay. Good routing. Good to grab him. Oh, crazy, grabbed him from that far away, able to get some good damage on that, the Azrael. Oh, switch it out just in time. Wall sign is going to take a brunt of this. Bojack had the burst available. I think Serene was conned in the... Oh, keeps the projectiles from touching the growler field. George is gone too, so this is going to be a little bit... Rachel's got to get started again. Got to work for it. Never, we don't got to work for it. Wall 6P, my beloved. I got the clip low by the 2A. And has the Heat Riser buff as well. You got to be a little bit careful with how you call Azrael at this point, my guy. Yeah, because especially now the raid boss is coming through. Rachel with 4 meters. Residence level 3. What will she do? Well, she can't really do anything while Adam is on the table, luckily enough. But now, now what will she do? You got the frogs. The frogs are so Oh! He's so that was so smart from Serene, though, to do the Biden, Biden, Lily and actually keep. Because, yeah, they figured, they figured okay, he, well, he's going to want to press the button after this. I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Whips the JA to get the empty low. The <laughs> maneuvers are off the table. Oh my god. His movement is too clean, too good. The far bottom by Lily on the super, not doing nearly as much damage as I thought I would, but doing just enough to get a knockdown and uh, looks me up 2-0. Well, that's because it didn't actually hit with the main part of the super, because whenever you have pulls, it activates those. Right. That's why it hit. So I it wasn't like the main part damage. of it. No, they, they do ready. like, no, they don't do more damage. Okay, I was under the impression it, it, that, like, because it's a super, right? If you hit with, like, mm -hmm. the poles are now part of the super, and you can get, like, real damage off. But it, it looks, it looked there, like, you know, that was just a, hey, if you hit with the poles, you're getting punished. Mm. Alright, good to know. Rachel making good use of her movement to get away from the BZO. All the frogs are out there, all the frogs are feeding Azrael. That would be really funny. I, it would be really funny if like he could absorb like 
the strength of the projectile and it reflected all of the damage that that would have done. Oh my god, don't hit me with some Super Smash Bros. Melee, like, you know, countering the counter, counter the, countering all the counters. I, I, want to, I want to see that in BB Tag Unlimited. Diddly, if you're listening to this, I want that. That'd be yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Get hit by one Growler and lose 20k HP because you <laughs> hit with 10 frogs. Great use of the super getting through the laser projectile invul. You can dash block this man. The Undernight mechanics coming through. DP's out of block. situation. Life total is relatively even as it's looking to be. I uh, say that, and then, yeah, Rachel, of course, gets hit. Green, I think, wanted to press a button. Uh, that one is not going to be rewarded, going to be down the solo wall side. Uh, could be a bit harder than last time, I think. But we don't know. Ooh! Ooh, DP's out. I saw an active swap there. There was supposed to be an active swap. Green is the wall sign with, like, the highest hit rate on those DPs I've ever seen. Um, yeah. Not gonna matter though. Uh, that drop's not gonna matter either. Bojack need to be able to bring him back to one. Putting a game on the board. Still, it needs to get two more of those to be able to take the set. Mm -hmm. The ring commenting. I didn't expect you to keep swinging, but it's Azrael. Why would he not swing? Elementary mistake. Get ready. I mean, expecting an Azrael not to swing, that's that's crazy. Yeah. They're going to. You're lucky this isn't CF, especially with weak points, because he would be just incentivized to swing. Oh, he's got weak points all the time in this game. Let's not get it twisted. Uh, okay, great. okay, but but CF weak points are completely different. That's true. CF weak points hit very different. Another 2B from Adachi hitting. I, it must be a new mood or something. Bojack, I think literally the only Adachi I see that's able to have such a success rate with 2B. I've seen Game Wizard do some stuff, so you know, it, it must be it must be a necessity to play this character now. We've advanced deeper and deeper in the meta. So <laughs> that's not my own. Hey, what? <laughs> well, he was still he was still technically in the Valiant hit, so I guess that just sent him. But that looked so weird. We're getting some. Just... Insane oh, things today. Every time we've done this game, something new happens. Final Mod is nothing new. Especially a second one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the can is coming out. Then a blue beat. Bojack does not want to attack. He just wants but, the green. He, he doesn't. He does. Did not want to get hit by a potential reset into DP, so I understand mm -hmm. that. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you're dead. Absolutely. Okay, Bojack bringing it back, uh, going to, at least down to one to one character, but Rachel out here. Oh, she's keeping. This throwing? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big hit, but unfortunately wasn't able to convert fully off of that. But, um, I mean, this is an interesting situation because it's. I was gonna say, it's technically a one hit situation now for either character. Oh! Oh man, it gets them with that down air. Uh, Bojack getting smacked out of this. Um, yep, Ezra got a migraine from that uh, top falling on top of him. Wow. Unfortunate for Bojack, but fortunate for Serene. Going to be moving on to face it off against Riazzo in Losers Finals. Yep. All right. Is Riazzo going to be sticking with Nine the Phantom here, though? We did play Makoto Yumi last time. It was a very close set. Um, but no, we are going to go with the nine. Pulling out, I guess, um, in some senses, the, uh, the second form um, after getting knocked into loser's bracket. Um, hope probably see a slightly different dynamic than last time. Um, nine, a much slower character. Um, definitely one that has larger bunch of security projectiles easily. And... Uh, Get things like that going. Okay, shoots her out of the air. Uh, the bat's coming in. Able to oh, unfortunately. Out yeah, this is going to be really rough for Wald uh, against the nine, at least. Because it's, I mean, look at that. 
Yeah, you gotta... Anytime 9 dodges one as well as swings, it's devastating. But that lightning, though, uh, always the clutch for racial players, comes out in, uh, always, even after the CC. Face out the burst. Uh, how do you get a normal knockdown here? Oh, no, stuck in the air again. Air throw. Go. Not able to get the reset. It's just uh, swings with the wall. Oh, man. Did you see how much chip damage just blocking that did? That's crazy. Yeah, and Rachel played neutral for long enough. It's going to have another lot of bars to attempt this battle. Yeah, it's not going to, not going to happen, though. Uh, we are getting the hit. Now we gotta, gotta play neutral for a bit. No, we don't. Bond and Bond. Do we? Do we? I don't no. think we do. Good timing on the burst. From I was Little fully expecting. Here. I was fully expecting Serena to just do it again, like that kind of. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Unlike the uh, rest in this version, you do not recover before you hit the ground in normal Bond and Bond. Uh, good snipe by Riazo. I think. Oh man, I want to say because I saw them pull out a. George just before that. I think they probably wanted to maybe do wind and then do that to maybe keep it safe. Mm, I see. I mean, yeah. That's oh, something... oh, okay. I'm seeing the explanation there. Okay. Misinput from being crossed up. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ah, I see. Well, yeah, well, everyone out here, all right, their execution is just as bad as ours. Um, the cross up, which quarter circle do I input? Uh, a question as old as time. Ooh, good use of the Rachel to kind of fake the cross up and going to get, yeah, more hits on nine. How many more resets do you need? You gotta slow it down. Oh no, baits out the DP, and that's going to be, yeah, going to cross raid. Or not oh, even no, that. The cross raid going, I think that was a smart routing, keeping it uh, as Rachel point, um, and keeping all that assist bar as well. And intelligently active switching so that you're not putting Rachel into the corner. Yeah, right, we've got a lot of mountain to climb. Is getting started? How many more hits? Yeah, definitely, definitely good on Serene to kind of like be be patient in this and also just kind of like hang back a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, another thing here is that you know rather not building any more resources, um, no, no, like you're gonna be stuck at risk with level one. So as long as you can get the resource um, and kind of make wear them down this battle of attrition, they have to hit you so many times in order to mm -hmm. win the match. Oh my god, just yeah. yeah, stood in front, waited for something, and it was just like, okay, you're not jumping? Fine, dive in. <laughs> Let's go. The grappler, brain cell, pulling it out and getting the win there. Um, yeah, Serene going 1 1 um, at the moment. Yeah, taking out the nine early definitely did them a lot of favors because it's just like Waldstein has such a problem facing off against that character and like very much specifically that character because yeah. if they put if she is able to put Waldstein in the corner, he just loses. <laughs> Not able to do anything. For sure. Um, Serene adjusting question mark here, putting Rachel point definitely had a lot of success with her uh, last game uh, and. So, has to navigate his obstacles with good use of the mirror, try to feel a bit of turn back. Unfortunately, Walt's gonna be able to get a knockdown out. And the classic command grab, 4P, can't avoid it, getting locked down. And 9 back down to very low HP range. Ooh, good call out. Unfortunately, not able to convert afterwards, but still has to, yeah, has to have that in the back line now. Mm -hmm. Oh no, and that happy birthday is going to... Okay, fortunately Rachel jumps out, uh, falls out of it. Uh, fortunately, Wallstein gets too slow. And this is where you're talking about the corner situation, Wallstein against nine. Not a fun time. Oh, not able to build that last bit of magic meter to set up the unblock. We'll settle for 
dealing any critical damage on Rachel. Ah, oh, that's so much damage in this. Oh no! Understandable situation, but honestly, could have. Well, yeah, I was gonna say could have been worse, but still lost the character, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. The only way to get started, going to be able to get a grip on Yumi. But that nine's still sitting there, very healthy, and Waldstein has to approach. And that's not oh. easy. A rare instance of Yumi Ice Super, not Ice Special, not uh, comboing. Amazing. Unfortunately, yeah, going to be losing the character with this. And Riazzo up 2 1. Yeah, uh, much different set that time, um, even though Nine was put down very early. Um, just not able to get those confirms um, when Waldstein was on point against Nine. It could kind of steamrolled um, in the opposite direction. Uh, as you said, once Nine gets walled in the corner, uh, it's, a, it's hard luck right there. Yep. Uh, a truly Sisyphean effort. Push your boulder, Waldstein. The nine Oki is eternal. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh man, just goes with the two seed around start. Unfortunately, getting happy birthday, this is gonna be really rough for Serene. One has to imagine uh, Sisyphus happy as you struggle. Uh, ever so badly, but you know, we get started. The bats is still there from the back of the screen, going to be able to get a solid knockdown on the nine. Yep, use it early, don't let them burst out. Let's get that corner going. Oh, good 2A actually. And oh man, I was gonna say able to get a burst punish, but only just able to get the single hit. Serene, boldly going back into boss line, going to be doing a grip of damage. Set up for more Oki. And this would be dangerous, Ooh. but Serene doesn't need the CC bar in order to make the yeah, so very uncomfortable. Never mind. Oh no, yeah, that still stays out. Even if that's going to be hit, that still is independent of Rachel. And that's not quite gonna work. Yeah, so Wait, we yeah. Thought that, um, Serene did not spend season for that and Rachel was going to be punishable. Unfortunately not. Um, and I gotta play nine into the shell, which is not something that's hard for her to do, uh, but that's, it's going to be hard, I think, if you are, if you're dead. Wow. Even with the assist, with the assist starter, I didn't know if that was going to kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, luckily, um, it was only one hit, so the scaling wasn't too bad. Still able to keep a lot of that on the table, but... Very, sweating out the math there, uh, for sure. Um, just being able to tie it up again. This is going down the last game. Oh my god. Don't forget, that, don't forget that winner of this still has to face off against Cam, who's waiting in winner's side of Grands. Going to be a tough fight after this, regardless. Yeah, we're at the end of our, our night today, so all the killers are out there. And let's go 5 to Oki getting to get his free bar and free around 3k as well. Oh no, good use of the EX Fist to get through the wave of oncoming Rachel projectiles. George, George, George. George, George, George of the neutral. Not fair, man. It's 3v, 3v2. Not quite able to punish the burst. I think Riazza was trying to throw in order to catch all time and end the CT. Unfortunately, able. Oh my god. So far, looking really good for Serene. It has a very good life lead against uh, Riazzo, but I mean, that can all change very quickly. So it just has to keep playing a little bit distant. Uh, that that he's frog here. is still he's coming. Still here. That frog he's is still there. there. And Serene has the mirror. You can just get rid of nine here. George, George, George of the neutral strongest frog in town. Oops. 
All right, the rare CC very close proximity to each other, uh, and Serene taking advantage of the, you know, of the weight and getting uh, catching Riyadh out of there. So Serene reversing their fortunes from winner's side, winning three two. Uh, you know, hey, hey man, the five five matchup, um, just a flip of a coin, you know. Walt's not able to pull it out at the end. Um, no, in, in no small part, um, assisted by Rachel and her army. Well, with that, Riazza will be going down in third place for tonight. Uh, we still have to find out who's going to take first and second because, yeah, Serene going up in grands, loser side to fight against Cam. So, going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, these two have not played yet today, so uh, a whole new dynamic. Um, Cam, uh, a very uh, parts of his playstyle are very, I would say, like measured. Um, there's a, a sense of controlled chaos, but Serene's absolute chaos, um, and it's going to be an exciting one. But you know, you got you got up to you got you got two all sets to figure it out um, on both sides, and we'll see the evolution. I'm sure. Uh, King of Ninjas, Bojack lost to uh, Cam in winner's semis. Um, and yeah, then... that wasn't winner's finals. That was winner's semifinals. Yeah, so just to take... Anytime I say finals, pretenders, there's always a semis in front. So I clearly can where they are. Winner's quarterfinals are just winner's semi-quarterfinals in another universe. Speaking of Cam, still waiting uh, for them to join the lobby. Uh, then um, after that, yeah, we should be good to start. I think uh, Cam's probably, yeah. Serene, Serene's coming into this set, you know, you know, hot, ready, you know, uh, good to, you know, good to play. Cam, you know, has been having to wait a little bit, so wonder if that's going to have uh, any sort of, you know, bearing on how things will play out. Yeah. Well, knowing uh, Cam and just like how I would approach playing in bracket, uh, you're always keeping warm. I'll, you know, maybe sitting in training mode as you're watching. Um, Cam, I'm sure, still going to be very practiced with some of their more advanced sesame maneuvers and uh, they have finally come in here and you know we'll see we'll see how we'll see if they kept we'll see if um if they if they, if they still are uh warmed up and ready to go here uh screen obviously coming off of a, a very um we'll see how this goes indeed we shall grand finals starting up ready. You we are already trying to take the air. <laughs> Maybe a missing put 5C. Uh, Waldstein. Oh, yeah, going to be for that. Fun in is 5 frames. What a good, tricky reset. Able to get a grip of damage on wall. That 20k HP doesn't really touch when the top level damage of Cam's team is around 11k per uh, good setup hit. Ooh. So far, this game has been all Cam. Good block. Yeah, recognizing that that was going to be activating right there. Yeah, this is, I think, now, what Dream wants to do. Slow it down a bit. Get those people yeah. cool persistent projectiles on the screen. But, yeah, he's going to dive kick in there. He's going to get chipped by the bottom of Lily. George is, George, is the, George is the king right now. I think, yeah. Oh. Ooh, jumps right into the DP. Unfortunate for Cam. Yeah, miraculously, uh, Serene just has used their assist enough to still be at reasonable 
Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to get to use it um, to its full potential right now. But um, that meter is going to come into uh, going to be very helpful for dealing with this situation. Doesn't get a button on that, and it's going to be going out. Yeah, going to be using the EX to stall for time for the assist to come back in, and Cam going to be taking the first game in this set. Green, um, a little bit ambitious with the assist called near the end. Waltz had a decent amount of HP left, but um, you know the problem is that because of how Seth's auto combo works, uh, he'll still be getting hit even if you push block, and that definitely uh, came into play. How will Serene adapt for this upcoming upcoming match? I think definitely trying to slow things down was probably one of like a good way to approach things. Like kind of like keep keep them away because you don't want to scrap with either of the characters that Cam has. You don't want to get into like a scramble situation at all. So I'd say just kind of like keeping things a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical could definitely help Serene out. Yeah, especially because um, their reset potential is also um, mm -hmm. extremely high with this team. If you get reset once, we saw Valtine uh, take like 11k from that. Oh, not able to whiff punish there after the CC pop. Uh, but yeah, Serene trying to slow it down, trying to not run into you, by the way. Uh, Unfortunately, not the case. And oh no, just gets grabbed on the wake up as well. That was definitely a tricky situation that Cam put them in. Well, sign turned around twice during that animation. I we assume we got crossed up in all that. But yeah, uh, Rachel 4P, the ultimate assist, probably think big vertical wall and need to be helpful there. Well, sign uh, unfortunately runs into Seth to be, I didn't get the fireballs out there. So uh, Yumi just had to run up. It's gonna work out though. Yeah, going to be going into super. That should be a dead wall stun right there. Yeah, enough minimum damage on it. We're back down to solar Rachel. Still has a healthy amount of resin level, but will Serene get to use it? That is a good question. <laughs> yeah, the magic eight ball in the sky is. Fortunes aren't looking great. Going to use it defensively here, but you still got to eat the CC sequence. Ooh, oh, oh no. Luckily, he's still going to be able to survive one more. Uh, and yeah, now you get started. Try to get some momentum going. Get on him tech, make him eat that chip damage. Get another one, all right. And now you try, hopefully, kill one character. This is all to just kill one character, I want to add. There's still another one that's on deck that you got to be aware of. Who's coming in? Yeah, and you know, if Cam's able to weather this out, Seth is recovering a lot of health in the back. So this is going to be a, Serene needs, needs a few more hits. That's that's one, unburstable too. So it's going to be able to do a lot, like as much damage as they can here. No meter to really capitalize. What it is here? That's five P. Does that much damage? A pretty good five P. Yeah. I, I'm amazed. Well, I'm going to look at the thing because I didn't think it would be two K. Uh, yeah, extremely good use of that five P to kill the kill the George. And going to, that that uh, frog slaying, I think, is definitely one of the reasons why they're going to be. It does 24. It does it does 2.4k. What? He needs it. That's insane. Yeah, he needs it. <laughs> Wait, that's actually crazy. Like like Tager five feet's only 2k. Hold on. That is that is so much damage. Yeah, that's why you just die whenever you get hit with a cross combo from him. Get ready. The highest this is the highest damage trust assist. Holy holy moly. He needs it. You know what? That's the that's the DLC um, damage inflation. You know, you got the, the prices going up and so do the damage numbers. Um, and so is the check count. We're going to be in game three. Uh, let's see if Serene can overcome this. Uh, this kerfuffle. Getting started. Good, doing a good job evading Yumi. 
definitely a good job not switching into wall unless it's a clearly favorable situation. Nice lightning. So far, yeah, Serene, I was gonna say, like, doing a good job of sort of, like, keeping things to their pace, but, yeah, the, set, the situation definitely deteriorated once they got within range. <laughs> All right. Smart job blocking the orb by Serene, but unfortunately, still going to get hit by Yumi. Should be put into another mix-up. Uh, cashing out here, uh, probably hoping to get wall down to a one-touch Oh, and what a brave PP. It worked out perfectly. Because I think the active off. frames for it, like, actually extended because it hit the assist. If that wasn't the case, I feel like Seth would have been able to avoid that. Mm. Yeah, he extended. Hit stuff. Definitely working in. Three and saver. Oh, no, no not the E for a starter. Not quite dead yet, but I mean, oof. What a time to burst. Mm hmm. Oh, not the JB you want. Yumi coming in just slightly later. But, you know, solo Rachel again. Uh, it's not going to Not be quite. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cam, business like, very uh, systematically winning that grand finals. Um, able to overcome Serene's attempts at slowing down the pace. And it will be your Wednesday Night Fight winners. That is correct. Taking it 3-0 over Serene and rounding out the top three is going to be third place Riazzo, second place Serene Smile, and first place, as we just saw, Cam Dinar. Good stuff to everybody tonight. Yeah, very uh, good matches all around. Um, that says you, man, that was looking hella cheap. <laughs> I'm real. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But that, I feel like that's just a testament to how much Cam has refined the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if anyone's out there looking to play the team, go go clip that burst punish for six one point for sixteen k. Uh, you got to put that in your playbook. Stuff like that. Oh, that's so good. I agree. Well, uh, that is the end of our bracket for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Podge, do you have any uh, final uh, words to say to the audience tonight? Uh, nothing too much from me. Glad to be coming back around to commentate a wonderful night fight. The community is great as always, and the gameplay just keeps on getting better. Um, yeah, just thankful to be here tonight and having getting a chance to commentate such a exciting gameplay today. Of course, of course. Always wonderful to have you here with us whenever you can make it. And shout outs, of course, to all the players putting in their best efforts tonight and giving us a wonderful bracket. As always, shout outs to all of you viewers at home who tuned in, joining us on this Wednesday night slash Thursday morning, depending on your time zones, of course. Thank you very much for your support through viewership and uh, being here with us. As always, uh, shout outs to Four Sword Kirby, aka Podge, for being on the mic tonight, as stated before. Uh, again, always grateful to have you here with us, and always a pleasure to you know hear you on the mic, give insight, analysis, what have you, reactions to anything that might happen in these sets, in this crazy game that we play, uh, of course. Uh, shout outs, of course, to Red E30 for being our regular streamer week in week out here for WNFBB Tag Online Edition. Always grateful to have him do this for us. And also we would not be the same kind of production without him at all. So wonderful work as always to him. And again, just always grateful to have him be a part of the team. And uh, of course, uh, last but certainly not least big thank you to level up productions for having wednesday night fights online edition and be a way for us to have the locals experience at home when in-person locals for wnf are not available at this time but until that time comes we'll keep things going keep it rocking keep the flag flying and keep fates crossing here with wnf bb tag online edition as always it's been master cheap T.O. Bracket Runner host and code commentator for tonight's bracket. Always a pleasure doing this for you all and looking forward to next time on the PlayStation platform. But until that time comes, I will be signing off for now. E30, I leave final closing statements to you. As always, take us away, my friend. <sighs> Thank you everyone for tuning in. Always a pleasure doing this for you all week in and week out. 
Uh, thank you to those who have tuned in, whether you were also playing as well. Always a pleasure doing this for you all. <clears throat> and uh, thank you to Podge, aka Four Sword Kirby, for commenting tonight. And thank you as well to Master Chief for not only commenting, but playing uh, quite often double duty by um, also being our wonderful video, you know, making sure everything runs as smoothly as possible and at a consistent time as possible. Always a pleasure working with you all. But a couple of reminders before we close off tonight. Um, on cons, I see you. Uh, or there will be blood series has ended, so we'll be back to our year regularly scheduled programs. Nothing about the turn has changed. Uh, permadeath astral rules. You already know the business. Tuesdays at 5 p.m. PSC. A wonderful top eight happened yesterday with uh, the the uh, the fabled Don and Lon on the mic. Excellent work from both of them, uh, and also to Aiden. Uh, and a uh, static clip putting on excellent production every Tuesday but uh moving into the future a little bit on Saturday will be Awakening the Chaos their monthly cross region more interested in that is played on PC uh be sure to check them out action starts at 11 a.m uh third to convert time zones accordingly and I believe House of Casuals is on a bi-weekly schedule and um, aligns with us on PC Tag, so they should be on Thursday or no, on Saturday as well. HOC members, can, can you please give us a confirmation on that? But uh, I believe that's the case. I didn't see any banners from them, but here to uh, check them out. Oh, it's next week. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, my apologies. Next week. Uh, will be yeah at 6 30 uh at the standard time so 4 30 for us uh, on saturday so hope to see you all there um and another reminder you saw it in chat a little bit i'll just remark it one more time but if you want to see back with evil japan and kgp there's a link to his gofundme in the chat so sure to check that out if you're feeling generous enough but I think that's going to be it for us over here at WNF. Hope to see you all next week on the PlayStation platform. Hope you all have a good night. But this has been WNF Online Edition Deep Tag Episode 41. See you all next week. Now, stay safe, stay beautiful. Drink your water. Tell your friends and family you love them. But most importantly, shout out to the bird gang. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.